So hey everyone, we are doing a project today. We are under the rig, which means probably maintenance. Yes. So we're doing some tire maintenance and specifically we are get this out. This heavy this bad boy here. Um, it is for our brakes. So when I replace the seals, the axle seals on here, when I replace the axle seals on here, um, I noticed that my brakes were not that good. So I went ahead and on e-trailer and ordered me the whole kit because that is pretty much what you need to do. And these are the self-adjusting. So there's a little actuator here. This job is gonna be super easy. It's just a little bit tedious because we have to take the tire off and then we have to take the, the hub off and then we pull, there's five bolts on here, um, which we'll go through and we have to cut the wire and these two wires will splice back in. So that's what we're doing today. So let's get to it and it shouldn't take that long. thing to note is when you're taking your hub off put it in a box put it somewhere nice where it's not gonna get dirt dust and you don't want to do it on, on a windy day um, so that way you don't get grease you don't get dust and crap inside inside the axle and inside the spindle when you put everything back on um, so you got your inner and outer what you saw me taking off was that was the outer seal the outer bearing rather um, and it's just a little flat washer and and a lot uh, retaining nut that goes on there um, so we want to make sure we do keep it nice and clean as clean as possible from dust and debris so next um, we have on here is there's four five bolts five nuts and those are those bolts are attached to the actual axle itself so um, there's two wires right here um, so that if you ever need to know what your part number is it's on that sticker this white sticker here these are the two wires you, you're gonna cut the wires and again it doesn't matter which one goes to which they're not um, conducive to going back to the same wire um, it's just for um, power and send so let's go ahead and take those five bolts off, or bolts, nuts, and we'll pull that off and then cut the wires and we'll splice those two wires on, put the new one on, throw everything back on, and we're good to go.
notch up the holes, make sure you don't pinch the wires in the back, and they give they give you new new nuts to put on. So we're gonna go ahead and use those and put it back on. Then we'll put our hub back on and get everything buttoned back up. So now we have our bearing, which we've, I've already redone the bearings, so we're just going to put them back in. We'll put a little bit of, uh, these are the easy lube, so we're going to put a little squirt of extra lube after the end. So but we'll go ahead and seat that in. And make sure you put it in the right way. Then there's a little flat, it's a little flat piece, and there's flat on here, so. And so with this, you want it just hand tight so this can freely spin still. Now we'll take our retainer clip. That's it. And again, these are the easy loop. So this little plastic cap, we can pull this cap off and we can lube up the spindle and everything, get a little more grease inside there. And we wanna make sure we're using the high temp grease in this. Give a little tap. All you gotta do is just tap it in. Just tap it in. And there we go. Now we're ready to put the tire back on and we're all done. I hope this video helps you out and I hope you learned a little bit of what to do, what not to do.